Afternoon. Yep. No, no, no. Just going to Afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah. Scott, a um, bit of a change for you over last week, switching into the attack portfolio. How, how's that unfolded for you? Yeah, we've, we've, we've adjusted. Uh, we're working on it. It's been a good day today. Uh, the boys have been really good. We've got key drivers at drive lead, so they've been really supportive of what we're doing. Have you had to change much in no, terms of your own coaching style? Not at all. It's about, it's about me doing what we're doing well and also um, giving space for our leaders to do what they do, which is lead our attack and see the pitches that they see. So for us, continuation. What are your key messages then to the attack this week? Uh, excitement. Someone with the opportunity of playing at Ellis Park, so um, there'll be space, just find it. Mm. It's going to be a dry match, ball travels fine at this Park. Yeah, it does. Well, we're excited to be there. We understand the, the ball in the air with the altitude and how we can use the kicking game and the space there also. And you know, watching South Africa recently, their expansive game and the way they're playing has been really exciting. So uh, we're looking forward to Saturday and um, being in front of them. Putting our game on. How crucial have the leaders that you speak about, the, all the players who've played at Ellis Park before, how crucial have they been to to getting the sort of team mindset right for what's coming? Yeah, well, your leaders are storytellers. Mm. They talk about their experiences in the past and they've shared those this week with us. And that's been really exciting to hear the stories around what it's like to be out there on Ellis Park. So, and what that looks like going to the game, what that looks like for your weekend, your preparation. Leaders are key around what that looks like during your week and regards to the mindset, they'll, they'll set that for the team and it's for us to be ready and able on Saturday. Have you been surprised at how the Springboks have been sort of able to step up their game from from what what they how they played last year with uh, obviously Tony being in there and... Yeah. Oh, I've really enjoyed watching them. Um, the Rugby World Champions and they're playing like it. They're very confident in their game. Uh, their brand of forward power, uh, kicking pressure, and also their ability to use the ball. Um, we're really excited to, to face them on Saturday. It's going to be a hell of a game. Scott, uh, given how much the team has changed, this African team this season, a couple of times, Ireland, then Portugal, then Australia changes. Does it make it easier or more difficult for you to assess where they are? Oh. We've had a look around where their game is and their style and fundamentally their coaches are, are building a game plan so we understand what that is around where they want to be. What you've got to acknowledge is the depth and the excitement of South African rugby. It's unbelievable so um, it's a hell of an opportunity for us and a challenge for us on Saturday as I've said and we know how good they are. They are the rugby world champions, us playing them on, the, on their front yard. Have you, so, have you seen Tony Brown's hand in their game? Yeah, I believe so. I've, I've coached with Tony for a number of years and I, I can see his personality in the team and his excitement to use the ball for sure. And does, does that it help you? I'm sorry. So, yeah. Does it help with your, your defensive structure? Oh, we understand we, we, you know, the, where their strengths are and where they want to go. What I've enjoyed is that they're using the ball, whether it be their forwards or their backs. And they've got a dynamic game around power and also their ability at set piece. Fundamentally come back to that, South African rugby is that uh, their set piece is dominant. So first and foremost, the, the game for us starts there. How much think? of a change in containment um, does the new expansive game that everyone seems to be talking about um, demand from, from you guys as op opposition? Oh, for us being eyes open, where South Africa sees the space now, their ability to get it there, um, their game plan, they've got, as I've said, they've got the ability to go through you, around you, over you. So we have to be right on with their game. Uh, we'll have to be at our best. I don't know if you've um, read anything about the fact that they've got a minor lock crisis. Does that give you guys uh, something that you, you, you think you could target? The depth and the experience and also the talent of South African rugby. Whoever they put out there in a test jersey will do their country proud. We know that. Uh, Coach, last week you guys had a bit of a disruption with the departure of McDonald. How's, how have the players responded to that uh, news? and? Uh, uh, what have you seen from them in the, the days afterwards? Yeah, well, first and foremost, we, we've acknowledged Leon as a great man and, and coach. And what we've done is sat down as a group and said we must look forward. And that's what we've done. Talking about looking forward, coach, is it uh, a lot of adapt adaptation that it needs to happen now with the change of coaching personnel or roles at least? Or is it more of a business as usual for the players? I believe so. I believe so around the leaders and 
is essentially it's their team and how they lead it. It's a continuation of what All Black Rugby is, built on our fundamental ability around uh, using our athletes to find space, whether it's through curry or um, using position and or kick games. So fundamentally for us, nothing's changed there. Do you, do you think it could be an, as intense or even more intense than the World Cup final, given the history between the two teams? Well, I know the rivalry. I've watched it from afar and I've respected it. And this, the Rugby World Champions versus the All Blacks. So um, we respect the legacy. We've got a tremendous amount of respect for South Africa and the Springboks. We're excited for the opportunity. It's a game of rugby we're looking forward to. It is a lot of talk about the players, but as coaches, does the, are these the games that you get excited for and you, you make sure you've you know, uncovered every stone? And well, as a young man, these are the games that I looked at. This is what led me to love the game of rugby around the rivalry, uh, the love of the game here in South Africa. It's an absolute privilege for us as the All Blacks to be here. In your preparation for this game, have you looked at previous games that you've played against South Africa? Yeah, I think it's best for us to understand where and how things have gone well for us, where we've been challenged in the past. A big part of our role is looking at that, um, taking the team through solutions and, and, and our game. So definitely we've looked at uh, where we've been and what we've done well and also we've been challenged. Sorry, Jonathan, James, we've got to get Scotty on a bus, okay. <laughs> which is waiting. Can, can to catch leave. a lift with us? <laughs> <laughs>